The city of Valdosta has reached a settlement agreement with a man officers wrongfully arrested, breaking his wrist in the process. ABC 27's Jada Williams explains how one condition of that settlement takes a page from the Tallahassee City Commissioner's playbook. Ava, nearly one year ago, Tallahassee City Commissioners voted to create a Tallahassee Police Review Board. Just last week, as outlined in Antonio Smith's settlement, the city of Valdosta followed suit, saying that they will create their own Citizens Police Review Board. A February 2020 case of excessive force you broke my wrist. is now the reason Valdosta is in the early stages of creating a police review board. Consideration of litigation. Antonio Smith filed a lawsuit against the city. Smith was incorrectly identified as a suspect. During his arrest, his wrist was broken. Why didn't you tell me something? I thought he was the one with the warrant. Valdosta City Council unanimously voted to accept the terms of a settlement agreement on June 10th. Uh, Mr. Smith will be paid three, the sum of $350,000 and the creation of the Citizens Review Board. We think that that is a major win. Nathan Hagerbrook is Antonio Smith's attorney. The Citizen Review Board was really the major thing that he was after. And we just hope at this point that we can use this as a launching pad to help eradicate uh, this type of behavior and these sort of incidents around the country. This isn't the first of its kind for our area. We head 72 miles southeast of Valdosta, where Tallahassee adopted its Citizen Police Review Board in September of 2020, following three deadly officer-involved shootings that year. Valdosta City Manager says the council hasn't met to lay out what its review board will look like. I would like to definitely be a part of that Citizen Review Board. Darren Neal is the Lowndes County NAACP president. He's also a retired cop. I hold a neutral view that I can see both sides of the point. Oh, my God. Valdosta has 120 days to finalize their police review board. We did reach out to multiple city leaders and they say that they will not comment on it because they haven't had time to actually sit down and talk it out. That will happen at the next council meeting that's scheduled for June 24th. Reporting live, Jada Williams, ABC 27. Thank you, Jada. In 2020, VPD officers had to use force 42 times, an 82.6% increase compared to 2019. Neil says what's important is that the review board creates change that benefits Valdosta as a whole.